Cities are indeed increasingly important. I think everybody here in the room uh, will know it, and uh, and they are crucial for sustainable development. The Secretary General, I think, have said it uh, clearly. Mr. Ban Ki Moon, he said it clearly. Uh, our struggle for global sustainability will be won or lost in cities. I think right now uh, um, we are passing the time in history where suddenly more than half of the world's population will live in cities and we are approaching two-thirds uh, within uh, the next uh, 30, 40 years. Um, so indeed, uh, city development, city planning and sustainable cities is a key agenda for the future and it is reflected as so now also in the proposed sustainable development goals cities and sustainable cities feature prominently in, in this new agenda and that gives us all uh, a new uh, platform to work on but also a number of challenges to meet in, in addressing uh, these cities. Now uh, the UN Habitat 3 conference next year will be uh, a key event for all of us um, in moving towards this new urban agenda as it is called at the conference uh, and I have met with, uh, met with Mr. Klaus, the Secretary General, um, um, and, in, in, and, and also have really expressed our strong support for the agenda and also for preparing ourselves and the region uh, towards UN Habitat 3. We are engaging uh, now in, uh, uh, in, a, in a number of preparatory uh, events, uh, uh, hosting uh, expert discussions uh, and also primarily uh, and prominently preparing the regional reports based on now I think 40 uh, regional reports the chair can elaborate more she's holding a key grip on, on this uh, entire uh, process but I think we've had 40 national reports and preparing the regional report up to UN Habitat 3. A key input from us will also be now our UN Geneva Sustainable uh, Housing Charter that will be endorsed uh, formally tomorrow but already now everything has been done I think the, and I think it has even been announced uh, a little bit before member states endorsed it but anyway uh, they will endorse it and uh, and that is a prominent result for uh, UNEC to have the UN Geneva Charter on Sustainable Housing now featuring as a key input and it will be transmitted formally also from the Commission to UN Habitat 3. It will give it a lot of weight in the future deliberations and thereby really provide us uh, with an important input from our region. I, I will really congratulate our chair and the committee and everybody who participated in developing it. It's been a lot of work, uh, it is, uh, but it is a very fine uh, piece of work uh, and it will inspire, hopefully, uh, uh, well I know it will inspire the global process towards UN Habitat 3. It is about decent, affordable, efficient, healthy uh, housing uh, and the, the breadth of it and it is laid out in a very uh, convincing way in the new charter. So uh, there is uh, a lot uh, to do and then there is a lot to do to implement it uh, to ensure that we have cities that can help us tackle climate change and not only uh, tackle climate change in terms of energy efficient cities that can reduce uh, the climate emissions but also resilient cities that can withstand uh, the climate uh, adaptation part of city development is also a crucial feature of what we need to achieve in the in the future, especially as many cities are in vulnerable places in, in near the, 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 the shores or, 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 or the oceans um, or in areas where strong winds can create significant damage. So both on climate mitigation and adaptation, there's enormous uh, work there's a lot of work to be do uh, to be done, and here the charter, with its vision, uh, also can become a key input into the climate conference in December, uh, where we hopefully we see a, a strong climate deal in in, in Paris. So uh, all these uh, issues have to be tackled simultaneously, and hopefully we will have cities uh, that with less noise, with uh, more green uh, spaces, uh, with uh, housing that is affordable uh, and provide quality even for vulnerable uh, groups and elderly people, uh, cities and that have social inclusiveness and public health uh, transparency uh, as key features. All of it is expressed in the vision that you share uh, and that's what we are here uh, to discuss. Uh, but let me end by uh, thanking uh, our chairman. Uh, first and foremost, uh, for uh, chairing this event, chairing uh, the committee, and, and, and really boosting the work uh, on sustainable housing uh, in the 
UNEC uh, to the benefit for the entire region. And also uh, Ms. Uh, Ms. Saskia Sassan, the professor, I've already heard her. The professor, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> the, the professor <laughs> who have already inspired us in, uh, in our panel discussions. I listened uh, carefully to all her ideas uh, yesterday uh, and, and thanking you for also coming here and, and share your thoughts uh, and ideas uh, with us. So uh, thank you for coming and I look forward to being part of the event.